In problem number 27 of Appendix A, we look at the unit normal vector, which given some, uh, some position uh, function, P of t, uh, it's defined by this formula here. So it's defined in terms of the um, unit tangent vector. And geometrically what this means is, well, if the uh, unit tangent vector is the uh, vector of length 1 that's tangent to the curve at a certain point, this is the unit vector that's um, orthogonal or perpendicular to the uh, curve at the same point. Uh, now we're going to calculate this. Problem 27 actually asks you to calculate the unit normal for um, the parameterizations given in problems 18 through 21. Um, I'm just going to do 18 as an example for you. Uh, so 18 gives the parameterization p of t equals 9 cosine t, 9 sine of t. Now, uh, first step is to compute the uh, tangent, the unit tangent vector and its uh, derivative. So, let's see, p prime of t uh, will be equal to negative 9 sine of t, 9 cosine of t, and the magnitude of the velocity is equal to square root of well, 81 times sine squared of t plus cosine squared of t. And this simplifies to just 9 times the square root of 1, or just 9 times 1 using the Pythagorean identity. So we can, re, uh, we can write uh, the tan unit uh, tangent vector as negative uh, 9 sine t, 9 cosine t, all over 9. And that's, if we cancel out the 9s, that's just equal to minus sine t and cosine t. Now, in order to compute the unit normal vector, we need the derivative of the unit tangent. So, see that the derivative of the unit tangent is equal to, well, negative cosine t. And in the second component, we'll have negative sine t. And finally, the last piece of information that we'll need is uh, the magnitude of, um, ooh, and this should be the uh, magnitude of the derivative of the, um, of the unit tangent vector. Uh, so we want magnitude of t prime, which we just computed here. So this will be equal to the square root of cosine squared plus sine squared, which of course is just equal to 1. So we can put all this information together. And we see that the unit normal uh, vector is oh, of negative cosine t, negative sine t over uh, the magnitude of uh, t, capital T prime, which is just 1. So we see that the unit normal uh, vector to the point um, on the curve corresponding to time t is just minus cosine t minus sine t. And that's the end of problem number.